Samsung got off to a great start with the Galaxy S24 series. The pre-order numbers were off the charts in areas such as Korea. And then the reviews came out and the Galaxy S24 across the board, especially the Ultra, blew reviewers away. It pretty much got great marks all across the board. Passed with fine colors, we've seen the durability of it. Everything was on par with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. But it seems like the honeymoon period may be coming to an end as we are hearing about a number of issues with the S24 Ultra. So in this video, I'm going to break down what some of those issues are. But before we dive deep into this article right here, if you are new to this channel and enjoy this type of content and you enjoy tech news coming straight to you, you hit the right spot. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell. All right, let's dive into this article here. Galaxy S24 problems pile up. Four issues plaguing Samsung's newest smartphone. Now, this is an article out of Mashable.com. So, let's go over some of those issues that we are having. Fresh out of the box is the Vivid Display Mode. So, this is a problem where it seems like the Vivid Display Mode seems to be the same as the natural mode that Samsung has on their phone. That if you have Samsung devices, you know, they come with options for a few different um, display modes that you can switch to. But it seems like the dis vivid display and the natural display mode are pretty much the same thing right now. Um, across social media, Galaxy S24 early adopters are finding issues with how colors are being shown on the Galaxy S24 display. Forbes found that even some users on Reddit have reportedly returned to using the previous model, the Galaxy S23, because the colors are so dull or washed out on the smartphone display. A well-known Android news source, Ice Universe, believes the problem lies with vivid display mode, which is meant to intensify colors of the Galaxy S24 display. As many have pointed out, the color issues aren't a problem when using natural mode. Uh, this means that the display problem isn't a hardware problem issue, it is a software one. So, software, hopefully Samsung can roll out a fix that will fix this issue because if you're using your vivid display mode, it should give you the mode that you actually want. You want those covers to be popping and jump off the screen for you. And why have that mode if it's not going to function the same way as it, it's supposed to, especially in the previous model. So hopefully this is just a software issue and Samsung can get that fixed and then we can they can get this issue behind them. There's one problem, however. Samsung is claiming that the Vivid Display Mode color profile isn't a bug, it's intentional. As reported by Android Police, Samsung Spain has provided the Spanish language tech outlet uh, with a statement saying that the issue may, many Galaxy S24 users are complaining about is just a new way Vivid Display Mode looks. Here's a Samsung uh, remark right here. We have adjusted the colors and brightness of Galaxy S24 series products to provide more accurate and comfortable viewing during use. Read the translate statement. Some changes have been made to the display technology to provide a more natural viewing experience. So users may notice differences in color depth compared to older devices. This display behavior is an intentional color adjustment and it's not a product defect. So it can be used safely. So it looks like they muted a lot of, uh, they muted the, the vivid display mode in the past. But if, if they did that intentionally and it seems to be looking the same as another mode, then why not just get rid of that mode altogether instead of just having it there? To me, that's a deceptive tactic right there. Even though they're acknowledging that they are aware of it and it was intentional, but if it's not, if it's natural or if it's just the same as before or a different mode, just get rid of it, Samsung. I don't see the point in that. But let's move on to the next issue here. So we're talking about the green line display here. I just want to show you what that looks like before I dive into some of those details here. So there's a green line, you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, a green line going down the phone, and some people are even complaining about a white line going across the phone here. Uh, Samsung users are experiencing another much worse display issue, a green line appearing vertically straight down from the top to the bottom of the screen, while some are even finding a white line going across the screen. To make matters worse, it's not clear what is happening, and Samsung is reportedly not going to take responsibility for this issue. So it seems like there are people are getting a run around with this. Samsung is telling people that this is an issue that the cell phone provider needs to fix with you go with T-Mobile, AT&T or whoever, 
they need to fix that. While AT&T, T-Mobile are saying, well, this is a Samsung issue and they need to fix that. So it seems like users are getting the run around with this issue right here. Now this right here is a big deal. And this is a, this is a game changer. This is a, a deal breaker. This is a stopper right here. The vivid color thing, you can still use the phone, it's okay. But having a green line and a white line going across the screen, th no, that is not something that uh, a, a user should be having to deal with. And for neither the Samsung or the cell phone company to want to take issue or take up that issue and fix the problem, that's 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 a problem. And that, I hope that they can get this resolved. But you know, users are complaining about just getting a run around, and they I don't know how they're going to get that fixed right now. So this looks like a manufacturing defect. I do not see that this, see this being software. So this is definitely hardware that you definitely need to have fixed from Samsung themselves. So let's take a look at another issue here. So faulty cameras, uh, one of the major selling points of the Galaxy S24 Ultra, the, the price of the company's new line of Galaxy 4 are the cameras. The Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a total of four rear facing cameras, including a 12 megapixel wide, 200, meg 200 megapixel wide camera, 50 megapixel telephoto camera with a 5X 5x optical zoom and a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom but uh early adopters have received defective phones that jump while switching cameras to zoom in there are also issues with certain lenses producing grainy and dull photos let's take a look at this issue here um see if you can see that so let's blow this up for you so it looks like when you play the video here, this person here, like when you shift in and out or zoom in and out, you get this little shift happening. You see that? If you can see that right there, hopefully you can. If not, I'm gonna link this Twitter account down below so you can actually go check that out. But you can see the shift in the zoom. Now, is that a deal breaker? That right there is not a deal breaker, it's annoying. But if your pictures are coming out grainy and dull, that is a deal breaker right there because what is the point of having a, a great camera on the phone like that if you can't get accurate, reliable pictures? So that is another issue that Samsung is having with these phones that hopefully this is just a software fix as well and they can easily just fix that. But we're seeing here, uh, as Phone Arena noticed, Samsung Galaxy for Ultra user posted a video showcasing the image shift when shifting, when switching between different cameras immediately after a zoom. Who says he had not experienced this issue when testing on the testing out the phone in the store, but had but heard others, including others in Spain and Thailand who faced similar problems with the camera. So issue is out there. So Samsung hopefully needs to fix it. And the last issue here that I want to tackle is the Android Auto issue. So it seems like um connectivity issues with Android Auto oh, that Android device feature that connects you with your smartphone to your vehicle's dashboard. There's a page addressing some of these issues on Samsung's official UK website. Some users have reported that they are unable to use Android Auto to connect to their Galaxy S24 to their Volkswagen, Skoda, or Seat car, says Samsung. So it looks like those three um, car manufacturers are having issues with that, with the Android Auto. So hopefully if you're out there with one of these cars, hopefully you're not experiencing that issue, but if you are, well, again, this should also be a software issue or maybe some Android settings that you may need to look at. So hopefully this can be fixed as well. This one, again, is it a deal breaker? If you can't use it, yes, this is a deal breaker, especially if you want to use it in your car. You got your music and everything on there. Or listen to your podcast or your, your uh, audio books. Yes, this is a deal breaker. So again, a plethora of issues for Samsung and the S24 Ultra right out the gate, but they did get one thing right. They did get the titanium body seems to be pretty built, pretty well sturdy device. That is one thing that they did do pretty well compared to these issues here, but these issues that Samsung are going to have to fix. And I was hoping that the uh, Galaxy S24 would push Samsung sales figures across the world back up to the number one spot, but this these issues that they're having right now may put a damper on some people out there that were looking to upgrade to the S24. They may hold out and wait a little bit, so that may not bode well for Samsung down on the line, but we'll see. Uh, let me know what you think about what is going on with these issues. So it is your turn. Go down in the comment section, hit that keyboard. Let me know what do you think about these issues. 
are you experiencing these issues with it? Are you actually looking to upgrade to the Galaxy S24 series and or S24 Ultra specifically? Let me know if these these issues right here concern you. Just let me know down in the comment section. Once again, thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. If you enjoy this type of content and enjoy getting tech news delivered straight to you, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And chances are, if you enjoy this type of content, you have friends or family that enjoy this as well. So make sure you share this with them. If you want to stay up to date with the latest tech news, head over to SilenceLarity.com, where I curate and aggregate tech news from around the web, covering Apple, Samsung, Google, Android, computing, and even more general tech news, all at the website, SilenceLarity.com. And for even more tech news in video form, check out one of these two videos right here. Until next video, guys, stay nerdy.